am not stopping. I am so into Arclinks Nemesis scripts that we have even changed some packages in Arclinks itself. So to be able to get an overview of all Arch Linux based projects that we have on Arclinks, that is 35 ISOs, might be wrong there, of Arclinks. There is the AA ISO, there is the ALCI ISOs, seven, and there is Carly 11. So there are several ways to install Arch and it's for me all the same. It's one thing, right? And the thing is, if you go to, in this case, we're on AA, if you get the Nemesis, the Arclix Nemesis scripts, if you get them all in, let's see if the update is in, git pull. So a new change here. If we run the scripts, this is Nemesis. And one of the Nemesis, right, has it. There is Mate. Oh my God. There is Mate. <laughs> There is Mate, there is Cinnamon, there is Plasma, there is FCE. And by default, if you run the Arnix Nemesis, by default, this is normal, right? This should look like this. But we ran already Arnix Nemesis. So we ran number uh, zero and then everything starts. But, 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 this is how it looks. This could be easily be a video how to create a ISO, a distribution based on cinnamon. And it's gonna be also a video, what's the workflow for Plasma and Gnome and all that, because it does not matter which of the 28 desktops you choose that we provide on Arclix. It's the same workflow. So what do you see? you don't like. People often tell to me, is there a way, everything is set great, everything is set perfectly, is there a way to get everything the way it is now? That's this, right? That's this. Arachnix Nemesis, if on left WM do this, if on XFC do that. Now I'm gonna make an if on Cinnamon. And it's all in the scripting, and a lot is in the personal here. So we need to add something in regards to the look, right? Cinnamon is so beautiful, but out of the box, it's just so ugly. But all the applications have already been installed. The ones that I want, lots of things, right? This one needs to go. But for the rest, the look. Where is the look? Control H. Control H. There are hidden folders. This one and this one are two guys where I say do a control C, control V, do a control C, control V, okay? If you see anything else, depending on the desktop you're on, right? Make a copy of it. Because now we're gonna change it. And we want to compare what things, what files, what texts do I need to change to background is covered, right? That's your Wallhaven, and he's going to provide another one. That's okay, that's cool. But, themes. Window borders, there's a lot, but it's just not selected. Arc dark. These days I go for this one as per default. Okay. Controls, arc dark for instance Advaita I seem to have a love for not that one dark probably yeah so rather than white you should take dark and then you got a white okay logic right and then here another art dark so what if you greet it with this next time around? Wouldn't that be nice, right? So this is basically ISO building 101. I want to have the user to be greeted with a certain wallpaper, a certain theme, a certain icon, done. 
Okay. This guys, these guys should be able to melt. Now melt is something we use in Thunar. So right mouse click. But this is not Thunar. This is Nemo. So it's a bit different. Super F5 is not there. But it is there. Right? Melt. Now we do it like this. Melt. Okay. We're going to compare directories. That's easier. What do we know? We want to compare, first of all, the config. This one. That's because of a scale. So that goes in here. And that goes in there. What's different? Different. Not the same. What's different? This thing might be the reason. Wallhaven is not important. Wallpaper is not important. Last chain is not important. History is not important. So basically, and that's the problem with this particular desktop, as well as GNOME, as well as Budgie, the settings are in here. So I think two days ago on Discord, people are trying to create their own distro. This is what I need. In here is the setting what to take. So if now the if and the what if, what if I can actually, well, let's first maybe, no, okay. Now nah, I wanna know, I wanna know. So I'm gonna go for another one, other melt. Can I do that? Don't think so. What I want to know is the local, right? How's the local? Other, home, control H. There is the dot local. And other home dot local copy compare same let's have a look that's the trash you're not interested in the trash are you I don't think so not necessary melt not necessary XOR session log this and quick have a look quick look here no oh, okay never took a look at the file okay so local not needed that's the decision I had to make Control F. Why am I going out of full screen? Because machine, file manager, I go to home, Eric, desktop, I log into my virtual machine. Let's make this bigger. Create session. In here, I have to go to home, Eric, control H is not working. There was a way of showing this, how and where I, but if you're too tired to have figured it out again, just move it somewhere else, right? So this is the .config user, fine. So we need the config, dconf, control C, to the desktop and that's easier for me to just go and fetch it there click so now it's on my machine this virtual machine is not necessary anymore power off i've got everything i need on my desktop this is what i need control x and then we go to the data data well, well, if, if it's a um, distribution you're gonna, gonna make, you need to make a package, right? Here we're gonna say, oh, too much work, distribution. I'm just gonna copy paste it over, done. Settings is, are saved. So personal, settings, better make a folder, right? Cinnamon. And then put it in here. Okay, now I have to get it over there. If I install my 900, this is often the best way to do it. If I use number 900, uh, let me see, where did we put this? Yeah, 
Let's go for another script. Definitely need to do a git pull. Git pull. Yep. <laughs> I thought I am missing quite a lot. I still think we're not gonna get in here. No, okay. So I was, I was thinking this is the ALCI ISO, right? So I'll put it in the ALCI, but there are different ALCIs. If you're on XFCE, you do that. And now I'm gonna add, why am I saying that? Maybe I should explain that first. That was not a good copy paste. Ah, again. Control C. If you're on ALCI, that's my check. But if this file exists, then I'm on ALCI. If I'm if this file exists, then I have XFC installed. And I'll do the same. If this one can go. Voila. Checking, checking. If so always check your beginning if and if and so fee fee if 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 fee fee fine okay cool so xfce is cinnamon if cinnamon is there we're on cinnamon this is more for your help than for the script right and what we need to do to get all these these great looks all the icons and all that is basically a copy maybe we can keep this one copy cinnamon user to dot config dconf user that's it all the icons themes and all that it's all in there save so let's see it knows it's on ALCI. If on ALCI, fine, then we'll have a look at XFCE. No, there is no XFCE. So if there is cinnamon, fine, we're on cinnamon. Changing the, uh -huh, the icons and theme. Save. And then this one, this align. That's all the way up. Yeah. So that's where we are. And then go deeper. Go to settings, go to cinnamon, cinnamon. Now we have to check, right? We follow the script. Install directory, okay, and then settings. Settings, cinnamon, user, settings. Typos are so different, right? User or users, user. Voila, and put it in the deconf user. So put it back here, I can't see because this is XFC, right? It's not the, the virtual machine. That's it. Next time around, and I'll do it in a moment, when I install this, uh, which one was it? Super F7. The ALCI Zen, when I run it again, I install it again, clean install, and then run Arclinx Nemesis, it will see, oh, I'm on ALCI, oh, there is Cinnamon, let's copy paste the user, and if you reboot, everything will be fine, will be set. And it's these small things eh, that makes life interesting, just for user, but also for the developers, the distributors, the, the ISO builders. It's that little file that you need. All you need to do is now package it. And I've made lots of videos about packaging, so you check it that out. If it's one file, two files, three files, four files, right? Doesn't matter. Linux doesn't care. Just package it. All right, I'm out.